like everybody's a lot more hardworking this year than they ever have been. Just really, really like proud of how far we've come. I was like, wow, I really want to leave this band next year. We're a big family and we practice a lot. I think so far this season it's been around 300 hours invested in just practice and we work as a unit to just create a production that people really love and we love to perform. That means a lot. You know, I really make sure I put all my effort into it because I enjoy playing music. Interesting, instead of being on the listening side, being on the performing side, because you see all the hard work that goes into it. Not a day goes by that I don't enjoy what I'm doing. I think that's really important in a band setting, especially. Everyone's here, they're doing the best that they can, and I mean, the show has come such a long way. They're all putting in all these hours, and we get all the trills, we get the cool melodies, and that's, that's what I like. It's fun music. And it is something different, something special, it really brings us all together. Our band is our family, knowing in the adrenaline rush you get, it makes you want to stay with them. We put countless hours into this, we've been working on this since like June, so that's almost six months. It was just an amazing experience. I tell you so much to carry on through high school and into life. This year we're doing really, really well. We've got an insane show, the crowd likes it, um, we like marching it. The music is great, the drill is great. I remember first I saw the band, it was something really, really amazing. Like just being there and like seeing everyone around you actually know who you are just makes like everything through high school just go a lot easier. You know, my fourth year here, I've witnessed a lot of growth from this program and uh, we've come a long way musically, you know, all around. We've grown a lot, and I'm very proud of this uh, program and this organization. Our show this year is titled I Am Imagination, um, and it is about imagination. I think that this year, show-wise and mentality-wise, it's just another step up from last year. It has been a challenge, though, because moving up a class and being a part of a class that has so many good bands this season. We got Jupiter, like Seminole, Palm Beach Central, and again this year, and it's kind of putting a little pressure on everyone to not only be their best, but to be better than their best. And all of a sudden, in the past three years, we've just really quickly been rising up and making an impact and getting our name out there. We've done really well competitions, always placed at least. Show-wise and mentality-wise, it's just another step up from last year. I got stronger and I learned how to like move in time. First of all, when we're standing at standby for hours and uh, they're just talking to other people, we have to stay here and you can't talk and it just it gets really annoying. But you gotta just keep going and you get used to it and that helps with other aspects in life where you want to get something done really fast but you know it takes time. You have to use patience for that and it works good. I learned that I can be patient and not rush through things like I normally do. I got stronger mentally, as in like, I figured things out better, I work with people better, and I've also gotten stronger too, with like my upper body and stuff. We practice at least nine hours every week, and um, I think we're all in it for the same thing at this point, we just keep moving forward, and I think that really set a precedent for the years to come. I'm in my junior year right now, and it's just been so fun. I mean, 
through all the competitions, the hours, it's just meeting new people, getting to do what everyone loves to do, which is just making music. I mean, a lot of the upper class we can tell you that after all the hours you put in, I mean, you're done by now. The challenges is like each year, of course, like we lose seniors that are really like valuable players or marchers or anything. And I think like each year it's always an adjustment, like losing like 10 to 15 really valuable people and having to bring in freshmen and teach them the ropes and show them just how great this program is. So it's always fun. I mean, you know, we're all striving for that one goal. I mean, you all want to look in time. We want to play the same thing. I mean, you want it to sound as powerful and as good as possible. So, you know, we always strive for the best technique, for the best sound. You always just want to be performing to look your best. So when it is time to play, you're always at your full potential. You're never behind on what you want to be because you didn't give it all when you should have. spend so much of your time just in one place with the same people for many days a week and you just become a family and enjoy being around them. My closest friends are either in band or color guard or they do some type of music. Just music has a way of bringing people together and I absolutely love that. Like You could speak a completely different language but as far as music you always understand what's going on. Through the activity itself and through people that are, that are welcoming you into it, uh, you form such strong bonds with people that you can't really get anywhere else because there is something really special about creating something and working towards a common goal with so many people and it's so really special. You always feel that emotion, especially when you have an ensemble that's really putting out 110% into what they're playing and you understand and that's like the best part of that. Specifically, all of the buttons have fallen off and I've had to sew them back on by myself. It's fine, I don't have a problem doing it, but I don't think that's how our uniforms should be. Before every competition, we're in inspection and you see person after person coming with a broken zipper and a broken button and having band moms on site sewing things and fixing buttons and, and taping and safety pinning and it's absolutely ridiculous because with a group of such high caliber to have these uniforms that's so unrepresentative of what we're trying to show an audience, it's really sad. The uniforms were really thick and they kept in like all the hot air after the performance. The ones that we have, they're smelly, they're ten times thicker than they need to be. No matter how many times you wash them, they're always going to be dirty and it's like two inches thick of what they're cotton on most of your body. It gets really hot during the games and the competitions. They're really thick and they kept in like all the hot air. It just looked like this and then all the steam would fog up. My glasses and I would just be wondering why do we have such thick uniforms. They're falling apart at the seams. There's buttons falling off, zippers breaking. My own uniform, the only drum major jacket that fits me, has a big tear down the back. Mm. And every time the band parents restitch it, it just opens up again. Our uniforms are really old. Time. The uniforms are kind of weird. One of my buttons fell off on the side. So, for me, I've personally had an issue with the uniform. They would fall apart pretty easily, too. They have to use safety pins to hold the uniforms up. And the zippers are broken, so they have to use safety pins to hold the zippers. The uniform's just falling apart. And there's been years and years of people sweating in those. And no matter how much you wash it, it's still going to be dirty. There's a lot to complain about. It's really uncomfortable after you perform the uniforms. Yeah, they're so bad. The pants are made out of this fabric. It's like really thick and it doesn't let your sweat come out. It doesn't let your body breathe. We're falling apart. The zippers won't zip and the snaps, they have started to wear out and you can't really snap them all that well. We've had to like add new snaps. Everything's like falling apart. A bunch of uniforms have like a seam in the back with a hole in it. It's just you can't fix that, at least not well. And there's really like they're just falling apart. Well they were here before I got here. I took over in the year two thousand. I think they were purchased the school year prior. 
Well, the buttons have become pretty tarnished and a lot have fallen off at this point. The pants, however, have really just... Coral Springs High School is a Title I school. We've had a trend of having money issues, and my mom actually is treasurer of the program, and I never hear the end of what's going on financially with the program. So we started a GoFundMe page on Facebook, nearly because we don't have money to buy new units. falling off and I know multiple people that like a little like strap on the side it like dangles because the buttons are just not functioning. Uh, since I'm uniform quartermaster I pass out these uniforms for two years now and they're not in good shape. Usually what I have to do is sew things back together every time someone complains that it ripped or a button came off. Other times there'll be stains on it and smells and I don't know where they came from. <laughs> And it's just very worn down, and I know that some of the uniforms are just like old to even keep together. So it's very stressful just fixing these uniforms time from time again, knowing that they're not going to last for very long. 155 people are coming at you for alterations, or they need new pants because they're way too big or too loose. We don't always have something to give them because we don't have these wide ranges of sizes because we need new uniforms. A lot of these in-between sizes have broken beyond repair and we can't use them anymore. So some kids are stuck with these ridiculously large pants and some that are just way too tight. We don't have enough uniforms for the band kids that we need to supply. I am one of the uniform quartermasters. I have all these people coming to me with all these uniform issues. I'm like, oh my gosh, what do I do with all this? I'm sewing buttons onto people's jackets and poking myself with the needles. And <laughs> it's so much effort, but I, I like being able to fix something and give back to my band program. But we definitely need new uniforms. I feel like new uniforms for them. It would help with the whole heat thing, and we live in Florida, so that's a huge factor of why we should absolutely overheat when we stick in our uniforms. I also feel like the new uniforms would kind of look better than the ones we've had for years upon years. Uh, the old ones are in shambles, the new ones would be much better for the new marching season. intensity of having like an awesome uniform and a clean uniform and a healthy uniform, whatever, uh, it brings an entirely different attitude. It's so fresh and so modern and so up to what we are now presenting as a program because it's reflecting something that we're not anymore. So new uniforms. All four years of my being in band, it's a complete progression from coming in, not really knowing what to do, not knowing where to go, not knowing who to be with or how to get there and all this stuff. I really enjoy the amount of unity that we have. Like, we are very close, um, especially with the marching band kids. Um, when, you know, blood, sweat, and tears is that cliche goes. But I really do love how really close together that we are. Band is is not like any other class or club you're gonna take. Band is something totally unique. You get to create what you're feeling. It's a way how we express ourselves. <laughs> Knowing that in just four years, four years is not that much time in the grand scheme of things. So in four years, going from where we were to where we are right now, there's only up. There's the only direction to even possibly go is up because 
has such good attitude and, and drive and motivation and Mr. Dawson pushes us so hard that it just fosters this love that can't end anytime soon. So this program is going to make history in forever. Yeah, awesome. thanks Liana.